Welcome to the Panic Wilderness YouTube channel. Um, I've been doing a bit of a mini series on solar power at the cabin. And so in, in uh, video one, I went through sort of my uh, initial and, and second uh, approach to solar power. Um, but neither of those were really meeting the demands in terms of uh, a, a unit that could store energy for a long enough period of time from the sun in order to power our needs at the cabin. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you um, one of the units I'm using now, which is a, a Bluetti EB240 um, solar generator and uh, two solar panels also from Bluetti. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to go through um, sort of the, the specs of the device, how I use it, what I use it for, and uh, show you some of the use of that uh, device around the cabin. All right, so this is the Bluetti EB240 unit. Um, uh, so a couple things, the dimensions of this unit, so we're um, 20 inches by 14 inches by six and a half inches and the uh, weight is 49 and a bit pounds. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's not a light unit, but uh, I guess the exchange for the weight is the capacity. So it does have um, uh, 2400 watt hour capacity um, and it can handle up to a thousand watts um, and uh, I think it can do a surge capacity of 1200 watts for a brief period of time. Um, so those are the basic specs on the unit. And then I'll go through um, the features of the unit and then we'll show you how it works. The unit is a blue and white. I think it looks quite good. Um, so we got the Bluetti branding on uh, the side. You've got a very rugged carry handle on the top. Um, I use this handle both for carrying the device and also uh, sometimes I'll strap the device on my four-wheeler for travel and I'll put a ratchet strap uh, underneath here to secure it down. So aesthetics of the device are really nice. Um, so that. Um, so on the sides it's really just the branding. Uh, there's nothing else uh, feature-wise on the side. And then I'll show you the front and back. So I don't know which is the front and which is the back but we'll say this is the front. So here uh, you've got the uh, on-off switch. When you do turn it on and off, you have to hold it for a second or two. Um, so that turns the device on or off and turns on the display. And then you've got two other buttons here. So one is for DC power and one's for AC power. Again, you have to turn these on um, on your own, whether you want DC or AC or both. Um, so that's the buttons there. Um, you've got various USB uh, ports here for charging USB devices. Uh, you have a DC input here so that uh, you can run DC appliances. Uh, we run a light often through the DC end of this device. And then up here in this corner, you've got the 8 millimeter input uh, port. So when you're charging the device, uh, whether it be from solar or the wall, um, the input goes through here. And then on the front end back, there's a, I think it must be an intake and an output for the fan. And you will notice with this device that the fan does turn on um, after it's under a certain amount of load. Um, the fan on this is pretty quiet, like it wouldn't be enough to impact your sleep or conversations or anything. It's just quite quiet, uh, but you do hear it turn on and off now and then. So that's this part of the device. Um, and then I'll show you the screen as well. So the display screen, you've got uh, essentially four things. Um, you've got a picture of a battery. So this will show you how charged your device is. Um, so right now it's two bars out of five. Um, if the device is charging, uh, you'll notice the bars uh, flash and then it will just gradually go from whatever charge level it's at up to five bars out of five. So, and then there's three numerical displays here. Um, so the first is called input. So if it's uh, the device is charging, you'll see the amount of watts that are um, charging the device. And that's helpful for several reasons, especially with solar, because you can position your solar panels and then watch this number to try to maximize your input wattage. And then the next two, uh, the middle one is DC. So this would show whatever uh, power is being drawn out of the device uh, from DC sources. Um, and then uh, AC is the bottom one. So again, power from the device that's being drawn by AC sources. And then on the back of the device, uh, you've got again, the either input or exhaust for the fan and then two AC plugs and then you'll see the labeling here so AC 110 volts and then a thousand watts so the total wattage um, that can be drawn 
uh, through here is 1,000 watts, um, but I do believe this device also has a 1,200 watt surge capacity. So with a lot of electronic devices, they'll have uh, like their startup wattage, which is often quite a bit higher than their running wattage. So anyway, that's what uh, is on the back of the device. So uh, the Bluetti device that I've got, I've also got two Bluetti solar panels, 120 watts per panel. Um, each panel is about 10 pounds in weight. Uh, so what I'm holding here is a folded up solar panel. So you can sort of see the size of the panel. Um, and then that's how wide it is. So on the folded up panel, you've got a few things. So you've got a carrying handle on the top. Uh, you've got these uh, Velcro um, stands. So they help um, angle the solar panel towards the sun. And then you've got a storage compartment here, which has your wires that you'll need for um, connecting the solar panel to the solar generator. So that's a folded up panel. This is an unfolded panel positioned towards the sun. I'll, uh, I'll unfold this panel and show you how that works. So there's um, two clips on the back. You just press those and the uh, panel unfolds pretty easily. Um, and then I'll set this one up behind the already set up panel and I'll use the stands to support it. So that's how you set them up and then I'll uh, go through now how to connect these solar panels to the uh, Blue Eddy unit. So now I'm going to take the two solar panels and connect them into the Blue Eddy device. So um, like I showed earlier each panel has a storage compartment. So I'll get the wires out of the storage compartments. Each panel has a, a built-in um, set of MC4 uh, wires so there's a male and female end for each panel and then the solar generator comes with its own wire which converts uh, the mc4 into an eight millimeter uh, male end which inserts into the um, blue Eddy solar generator so i'm going to hook these two panels together and then hook the whole system into the blue Eddy unit so right here i've got um, mc4 coming from one panel mc4 coming from the second panel so I'm going to take uh, the black cable, which comes with the device, and I'll hook the uh, female end of the black cable into uh, the male end of one solar panel. I'll take the male end of the black cable and hook it into the female end coming from the other solar panel. And then I'll be left with um, one end from each solar panel. And um, I connect those together. Well, you can see here, so what's happening is I have the solar panels connected together here and then I have the black wire going into the Blue Eddy unit and one end of the black wire is going to each solar panel. So I'll connect the charging system into the device and plug it into the input. And then the sun right now is okay, uh, it's evening sun. And so you can watch the input wattage here. So right now, you know, I, I could have the solar panels positioned better. There's a bit of uh, shade on them. But I'm getting 24 input watts right now. And uh, then again, you can see the battery icon is now blinking. Um, and then so as that charges, um, the icon will fill up. Um, in full sun, I often charge this in a field near the cabin. Um, and in full sun, I, I can get it fully charged in, you know, less than a... Um, like less than a full day. If I put it up around noontime by sunset, it's, it's fully charged. So this next part, I guess, applies really to any solar panels. Um, uh, with a solar panel, they really maximize their function in direct sun. So any amount of shade on the panels really impacts how much charge you're getting. So I'm gonna move these panels. I was previously getting 22 watts. It's evening sun, it's not perfect sun, it's a little bit cloudy, but just to show how much more effective they can be. Um, so I'm going to try to angle this one directly at the sun. There's also pollen on my solar panels, which is another thing you want to keep them very clean. And then I'll move this one again, trying to get it in more direct sun. There's long shadows this evening, so I'll try to get it out. I was able to go from 22 to 50 some watts. 
Um, in direct sun, I can get like over 200 watts, like in, in good afternoon sun. Um, and I can get that pretty consistently, but we're just shooting this video in the evening. I'll go through um, how just plugging some devices in that I would commonly plug in and showing how that works. So right now the device is on and charging, um, but I'm going to turn on my DC and AC power. And uh, so I've got my sister's iPhone here, and I'm going to plug that in. Plug that into uh, the USB here. Um, so it's uh, charging now, and that's pulling five watts of DC power. And then I'll plug in my cell phone, which is an Android phone, and so that's charging. And uh, so that mine must be pulling 10 watts, and we're up to 15 DC watts. So both phones are charging. Okay, and then I'll also plug in my computer. Now this is going to use the AC power, so the AC plugs on the back. And then plug my computer in. And so the computer probably draws a little bit more, and uh, it's drawing 60 or so watts on the AC side. Um, so you know this would be an example of some of the things we run off of this. Uh, other things that we commonly run off of our device, we also have a um, cell phone signal booster and internet at the cabin. So we'll use that and uh, a light that runs off of the DC power. Um, we're able to pretty much run those things, you know, as frequently as we want, probably for the best part of a week, like five days or so. Uh, sometimes more if we're not using them quite as much. So this device, I guess, you know, in, in summary of this Bluetti EB240 device, which I've been using for the past several months, um, for me, it's been a real um, game changer, so to speak, at the cabin because it's, uh, I've gone from devices that store a small amount of power to this, which stores really a lot. I can use it for a much longer period of time. The two large solar panels, I can hook up to this and it really charges quite efficiently. Um, I can even hook up other solar panels into this, but I'm not, not showing that on this video. So this device is great. Um, I, uh, you know, down the road, would there be some utility at the cabin for something that um, runs even more power? Maybe, depending on which direction we go with things. Um, so really this device, all things considered, is, is really great. Um, you know, I guess a potential downside, but it, it, it works in concert with the fact that it's... Uh, uh, has so much capacity it is it's a bit heavy so you know for something where you wanted to stay lightweight this wouldn't be that great it's not something you'd want to be moving around a lot um, so maybe at the cabin it would be helpful for me to have something smaller to store energy if, I, if we're moving or camping or whatnot uh, but anyway i'm really happy with the device uh, happy with blue eddy and the customer service i've been getting from them so i hope this video is helpful um, to anyone, you know, considering other options for solar power at their uh, cabin or off-grid or camping or whatnot. So if you do have questions, uh, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.